I mean, it, it means more than I can really put into words. Just, uh, you know, everything that, that I've been through the last year uh, and it being the year anniversary of, of my brother passing, and uh, it, it's just one of those things that, um, you know, yeah, you can't really put it into words other than the fact that it's just God. Um, you can't write a script uh, any different. You know, I couldn't, I couldn't handpick this to go the way it did. Um, and so I just put my faith in God and, and um, know that I kind of knew going into it. I think the, the guys just feeling the, the vibe of the, the locker room, the vibe at practice, uh, guys just going out there uh, with nothing to lose, really just inspiring each other. Um, it was really awesome this week. CJ, can you uh, just take us through that fourth quarter when the game's hanging in the balance and just what, what everybody was feeling in that huddle? Yeah, I mean, we, it was. Uh, it's funny. I mean, I haven't been in the you know in the huddle in a in a game where you know we, we were up you know with under two minutes left and you know got ready to kick another field goal. So it was pretty pretty light, but we knew that um, you know it wasn't over yet. It's one of those things that I think we kept it a little bit too close for comfort, so we couldn't uh, couldn't you know joke around too much at that point. But it, it was fun. It got because we were just. Every run I felt like was a gash. We were just getting after them, so it didn't really matter what we called or what we did. Um, we we knew we were going to go out there and execute, and, and it would be a positive play for us. CJ Kyle uh, Kyle mentioned that you cut your hair, and he thought that maybe that was something um, sort of a, a step in, in your grieving process. You, could you explain why you cut your hair and what that step meant? Yeah, no. It, it definitely was uh, one of those things. I hadn't gotten it cut since uh, since my, my brother passed, and it was kind of one of those things. Um, he always liked the long hair, so I just kind of kept it going really for him uh, as as little as that is. But I knew, like, I was like, right, it's been a year now. I can, I can cut it. So I, that's really what my, my thoughts were behind that whole thing. Two more, please. CJ, Kyle said he could feel this week uh, that the players were gravitating to you and, and really responding to your leadership. Did you feel that? And is there anything about your leadership that's changed or just confidence in maturity? Shoot, I, I don't know. I mean, I, that's a, uh, you know, I, I appreciate that that, um, that compliment or whatever, but you know, I just felt it this week in general um, as an offense, as a defense, just the way uh, the guys came out to practice this week with everything that we've been through. Um, it being Christmas, it was kind of a weird week practice-wise where a bunch of stuff was moving around. A lot of guys were sitting in their hotel, hotel room by themselves uh, during Christmas, not with their family. It's one of those things that um, I just credit all these guys for, for the way they came out here today. Um, and that they inspire me more, more than anything. Just, I mean, all these guys, Jeff Wilson, Akello, the way he, he played. Um, I mean, I can go down the list and, and name all the guys. Guys like Trent, Trent Williams and, and George Kittle playing, Jeez. coming out there. Yeah, Juice is right here. He wanted me to make sure I said Juice too. Yeah, that tells Juice he needs to get a little bit more open in the end zone. But no, uh, you know it's just awesome. The guys that that George, you know, he, he was he's one of those things where out of the playoffs. He didn't necessarily have to come back, but the fact that he was fighting to come back and wanted to come back and really all week was like I can't wait to be out there with you and and uh, you know we've been been together for nine years, so it was pretty cool. Last one, CJ, could you? Talk about what, what the word king means to you in, in, in your attire right now. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's got a lot, of, a lot of meaning for me. Uh, just, I mean, f first and foremost, the king is, uh, you know, our, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And, uh, and it's, it's a lot of irony with me just because my brother's middle name was king. So he was Clayton King Bethard was his full name. And then my brother, my other brother, Tucker, dedicated his album to, to Clay, and it was called The King. And, um, and, and just the irony of, of our, our king here on earth is our, our, our Jesus Christ and all, all that that means. And uh, actually, Clay's pastor in, uh, in New York uh, got this made for me and sent it to me. It was, uh, you know, it dropped me to tears when I saw it. It was really cool. Hey, Faithful, subscribe to our YouTube channel.